Hi guys and gals. Today I have a really simple card using some leftover ink on my blending brushes. So I have a panel of 110 pound Nina here and I'm basically just using the residual ink left on my blending brushes. So if you've watched my videos before, you've probably noticed I don't really clean in between. I just leave the ink on the blending brush knowing that at some point I'll come back to it. So uh, it's kind of lazy, but you know, eventually I get around to using it as I'm doing here. And today I'm using it just to kind of clean the brushes to some degree, but really I'm making a whole beautiful rainbow colored panel um, just with that leftover ink. So I do have a designated set for my dye inks, which all tend to be water reactive, which you'll see in a moment. And then I do have a separate set that I use for my oxides or hybrids, just because they do tend to kind of gunk up the bristles a little bit differently. So this is the dye set and I'm just going through, you know, rainbow order, kind of trying to get as much ink as I can off the brush and onto the paper. Um, and it's not the neatest blend, but I do kind of go back and forth and it help blends it out, helps to blend it out a little bit. And then you'll see with the technique that I apply next, it, it really doesn't matter if it's not a perfect blend. So this is a really easy way to kind of use up that ink and not waste it. Now here I have a little spray bottle. Um, it's got water and a little bit of Perfect Pearl. I do actually need to refill it, but I'm spritzing it a couple times and then also using um, the top part just to kind of lay some more dramatic blobs of water down just because I want it to have that distress, distressed look. And it does have a cool, pretty pearly shimmer to it if you look at it in the light because of the Perfect Pearls that I have mixed with the water just use some paper towel to blot it off and it does not remove the shimmer. Um, it does kind of, you know, accentuate the little water droplets, but the shimmer is definitely still on there when all is said and done. So I'm just going to clean up my work surface and then I'm going to pop this into a gorgeous 3D embossing folder called Whimsical Bouquet. It's from Alta New and I'll have that linked in the video description box below as well as all the other items that I use. So if you expand that area and scroll down, you'll find all the links. And if you do use those links, I may get a small commission at no additional cost to you and that does help support my channel. So I really appreciate it when you follow my links. But you can see this beautiful texture, these 3D embossing folders. I just, <laughs> I can't get enough of them lately. So I'm just going to attach it right as it is. I'm not even cutting it down for a border, but I'm just using some adhesive and I'm going to attach that to an A2 size card base. Again, same thing, 110 pound Nina. And here I have some simple strips from Tailored Expressions. These are really neat. I do have other um, videos where I've explained how these work and I can link that in the video description box as well. But basically you get one big stamp and one big die and you can even purchase these optional storage boxes from Tailored Expressions as well. And I have some um, mini foam strips here. These are not the Doris brand. I found these on Amazon and I'll link those below as well. But it's a, I think it's like a 500 pack or something crazy and they're lower profile than the Doris ones. They don't stand up quite as high off the card, which I like um, because it gives you some dimension, but it's not you know, going to impede anything with um, shipping it through the mail. So I'm just using one strip to pop up that one on the front and then I use some liquid art glitter glue on the inside of the card to attach the other sentiment and just kind of put that right in there just to kind of continue the, the message. And then I add some um, sequins. They're like an iridescent crystal -y kind of sequin to the front of the card and that finishes it. So it doesn't get much easier than that, right? <laughs> so you can use up that beautiful ink and not waste it and clean your brushes and make a gorgeous card super quick. So I hope you liked this idea. If you did, please hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. I will uh, link all the products that I used in the video description box below and leave, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. So I appreciate you watching. I'll check you next time. Bye.